Hey, what's up, everyone? So this is going to be a Libyan demo truck rush game. So the strategy is to basically hit them with a demo truck before they could even expect it. Like they're not going to be expecting it so soon. But don't. But the only problem is that planes, if your allies or drones, if you're Soviet, really counter it. So what you really want to do is you really want to put the rally point right in his face, kind of like that. So it, like it starts driving immediately. I don't put it like like a little bit away from your base. You want to put the rally point basically where you're gonna go, and you could control the unit. So I just want to distract these terror drones because he's trying to stop it. Okay, terror drone is gonna get in, but I'm gonna still get a hit. Boom, big hit. <laughs> so there you go. I mean that's the quick win. I mean, this is a grade, a grade C strategy, meaning, you know, it's not like the Korea Rush, which actually has some, like, decency to it. This is actually, you know, if the player, you know, wakes up and, like, moves quick enough, he should be able to stop this. And, like, it's an easy finish up with terror drones. But, I mean, it could potentially be the good player, or, like, a really, like, a pro player, if you just really, really, really catch him off guard. You catch him going two miles from War Factory or something, but this is not a strategy, in general, you want to do versus a pro. So he's actually tr still trying to fight back with this. Conscripts. Order. Boom, boom. And let me explain the strategy real quick. Um, the part that I didn't explain already. You go either one terror drone or one rhino tank. And you go for fast radar right after war factory. And then you just get the demo truck. Order. Moving. So boom, boom. And there's no way he's gonna stop it now, watch this. <laughs> and now it's, it's game over for sure now. Now it's game over for sure now. And here's another one. Okay, so this is another Libya rush. Um, it seems like a lot of noobs have pro problems with this rush, but like the better players can stop it. But it seems like lately a lot of players, like haven't been able to stop it, I'm kind of surprised, because it's like kind of so, not too hard to stop, you know, one terror drone could stop it, one rainer tank, especially if you're allies and you make an airplane, but the thing is, when you're in a rush, you're going to have to rush before the allies is going to have the plane, and if they get a terror drone, what you want to do, is you want to stop it with two rhino tanks, you could cancel the Libyan truck, or make your second rhino tank, and charge at the miners, I mean at the yeah, at the, um, terror drones. And two shots from rhino tanks actually kills terror drones. So watch. And it's actually a pretty fun strategy, and it's only gonna work really on a small map, because if you're driving us across a really, really big map, like, you know, like, Malibu Cliffs or something like that, or that one California map, you're not gonna, they're not gonna be able to, you know, you're not gonna be able to get there with a surprise, basically. So he's going fast radar. One minus from War Factory. And that rush, by the way, um, would lose to probably a tank rush, too. And you could run over the, um, the guarded GIs if they're not in the deployed mode. Oh, he's got German destro tank destroyers. Get up there. And I actually, he saved his war factory by um, shooting it a little bit away from a war factory. The closer they are to the um, building, the more damage they do. There's no way I'm going to pass two German tank destroyers. No possible way. So actually, he has a strategy. Make tank destroyers, go one minute more fast radar. The only thing is he didn't make a rocketeer. Well, he actually, he can't anymore. He doesn't have a barracks. So, I mean, he does have, like, somewhat of a strategy. I mean, it's always good to have a strategy. Even if your strategy isn't good, if it has any kind of an idea behind it, it means it's got at least some quality to it. Even, like, noob strategies are actually better than... Ooh, see, like, nice block. He blocked it. Nice job. That's actually a really, really nice block. Yeah, like, any strategy, you got to have, like, some idea behind every strategy. Like, this guy, it might not be the best strategy in the world using Germany like this, but the fact that he has two tank destroyers, he's blocking the tank... He's blocking the demo trucks. Um, he wants fast radar to get the, for tank destroyers to counter the um, Soviet tanks. That's not a bad idea. The only thing that sucks about tank destroyers is they're bad against terror drones. 
Or she's gonna chase me. I'm gonna go into the corner and hide. I'm gonna go into the corner and hide now. And now, see, yeah, actually, he couldn't hit me. Right, so I'm gonna go right in the middle of everything. I'm gonna go right in the middle of everything and just like, right there, if he shoots me, everything's gonna blow up. <laughs> everything blew up. So the funny thing is, the funny thing is, um, if you position it just right, you kind of know the radius of where the explosion does the most damage. I put it right, just in the right spot in the boot, like, all the build is just about. And of course, you know, you gotta remember, don't ever blow up on the MCV. The MCV doesn't do a lot, of, it doesn't do a lot of damage to the MCV. I'm gonna scout with two dogs and, like, have one dog in my base just to hang out there and Andy scout a little bit. Do the same thing again. And I'm actually, um, some of these players are actually better than others. Some are better, some are worse. I mean, he blocked, actually, he blocked a demo truck a few times, but I mean, I got one really big hit on him last game, and it just cleaned his clock. It was, it was actually, it was pretty funny. But it's like 8 in the morning right now, so I mean, if it was like a couple hours later, I'd be cracking up after that, but. Yeah, and I tried, I tried not to, um, like, make people mad because a lot of players, like, they're saying, oh, crap, I got in a YouTube video. I mean, sometimes I blur out their name just so I don't embarrass them, but some people don't care. Some people do care. But I really haven't had any, I, I try, I try to be nice, so, like, I, like, people don't, like, complain about, like, why are you uploading, you know, hitting me with demo trucks and putting it on YouTube. I was like, it, I mean, it's for everybody to watch, but anyway, here we go. Some of the people I know, though, a lot of them I know, though. Oh, I got it. Nice. Sentry guns. Tried to block it with sentry guns. Didn't work. So, I mean, that would be a lesson. You know, go out with a terror drone. Or go out with tanks. But remember, one problem with the Libyan demo truck is it costs $1,400. If it costed $900, like a Rhino take, it'd be a lot better of a unit. I mean, it... It does get costly, but I mean, the damage it does if it gets struck hit is worth well more than that. It's almost like a half of a nuclear missile if you if you hit it just right. It's like a half of a nuclear missile almost, kind of. Make him go low power. I think he's like he's not even repairing it. There it goes. So watch that terror drone's probably going to come. Okay, there it is. Okay. So he's trying to fight back. He's got three miners. And remember, if for some reason I don't kill him, he's going to have three miners versus, I think, just one miner. No, two miners. Two miners. It's actually hard for me to get the second miner because of the fact that the Libyan demo truck costs a little extra. So I actually had to wait an extra minute to get my second miner. See, like, remember I said shoot the terror drones? For some reason, I don't know why, some t some reason, you got to actually have to... F it doesn't work out. Now I'm gonna try to put it where it blows up more stuff. Oh, he saw it off, but <laughs> he saw it off. Dude, he has to start building from a power plant again. He doesn't have anything, so there's no possible way he could win this unless you know I basically let him. But just for fun, I'm gonna throw some more demo trucks at him. Demo trucks really are. I mean, if they had more speed and they cost it less, they would be. You know you know, comparable to Iraq. Because, you know, Iraq has the Desolators. And Desolators are by far the best Soviet specialists. There's really no second place and no comparison. Oh, my God. You'd be better off not shooting it with the conscript. Maybe my guy doesn't want to blow up. Who knows? Now he's just committing suicide. He's so mad. Good game. I'm gonna do. You're beaten! Surrender while you yet have buildings to sell! Hey, so we're gonna have another one. One more. And it's gonna be a Libyan demo truck, so I'm gonna go Rhino Tank, then Libyan demo truck. And this guy's gonna try to ba block it with bunkers, battle bunkers. So I could either t choose a terror drone 
or a rhino tank before the Libyan demo truck, so I chose a rhino tank. And also he's going fast radar, which is kind of unusual. I think he might be trying to get desolators to block it, but uh, the, f the thing is, since I'm doing it, I'm getting the demo truck as fast as I possibly can. <laughs> go, 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 get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I wanted to try to get, like, the radar, too. But the radar has a little bit more health than the other buildings. But I almost got it, almost got it. And I could try to finish him off with this one tank if I want. Now here comes another living dumbass truck. Here it comes! Moving. Why don't you drive? Ah, yeah, and by the way, Ice Ice took over Libya lately. Boom! So here comes another one. Building. Try to finish him off. He made a Tesla coil, huh, man? I mean, making a Tesla coil is, I mean, at least he's trying, but the thing is, you're better off, you know, coming out of your base with tanks or terror drones and trying to shoot them away. I mean, these aren't really bad players. I mean, the fact is that I'm doing the demo truck so quick, I'm just really catching these guys off guard. <laughs> and it's kind of, it is funny. Here we go. And I, it's too tempting to shoot that radar with. It's got one bar health. I just gotta shoot. This is so tempting. Should I just finish off that MCV with this truck? Oh, Tesla coil one shots. The demo truck. How do you know? What is the damage on that Tesla coil? I had to check for you guys later. So he's going to quit, I think. I actually suicide on myself because I was like, what the fuck? Whatever. But he's gonna actually quit or disconnect. Good game. He disconnected. Here's another one. So I'm gonna do one last game. Demo truck rush, rhino tank first. And to the demo truck. So I notice how early it is in the game. We both don't even have a second war miner yet. I'm just trying to clear out the way. Uh, this tank is more like, you know, it sets up the demo truck rush. And I mean, but I mean, you, I, I see how it's not the best rush or anything. There's better, there's better rushes than this. But the fact that if you get a, a big hit, I mean, the chances of them sub surviving is so low. I mean, the damage is... Is huge. I mean, this really could catch a guy off guard. I mean, oh. yeah. I mean, I admit that thing is damn strong. That thing is damn strong. Oh, he's gonna.